Okay, YouTube, ready for an update on the shrimp? Stay tuned. YouTube this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a shrimp update for August of 2017 we're gonna start off right here with my red pinto tank um, as you can see they're still doing great and there actually has been babies spotted in this tank uh, there's one right next to that snail there so pretty happy about that Let's see if I can find any others right now kind of hard when the cameras rolling to spot them always but uh, anyway they're in there they're small but they're in there so um, pretty excited about that looking forward to uh, growing this colony big time but yeah overall they're doing real well pretty happy about it up above is my blue dream tank same old story with them, doing okay, not the greatest, but I'm not losing them, and I am getting some babies here and there. Um, just not as much breeding as I would like, but I seem to say that every month, so we won't spend a lot of time on that. But yeah, overall, doing just great. Um, right here are the Savage Reds, continuing to grow this colony. Got to do a little more culling. Um, there's a couple of uh, buried females in here, so um, continue to hopefully be able to produce those nice savage reds as people once knew them. Royal Blue Tigers. Uh, Nothing in the breeding um, realm has been happening lately. Um, colony seems to be dwindling a little bit as well. Just don't know what to think here other than um, I'll probably set up another tank and move them into a new environment just to see if that kick starts anything. I just haven't really had a chance to do that. So that's kind of where things are there. This is my other cherry tank with a lot of high grade reds, uh, paint, fire reds, painted fire reds, that type of thing, but also lower grade. All sorts of stuff going on in this tank. And then my crystal black tank. Haven't really seen much in the way of breeding here, although I do spot a small baby right now, so there has been something going on. So you can see them there, so the glare is kind of, there we go. Yeah, these guys are doing decent. There's a uh, crystal red that you can see that was thrown out of this line, and then another bluish looking coloration. I'm going to call both of those out and put them in tanks where they would belong, because I've got them. Yeah, this is this tank's doing real real well overall, I guess. We'll move over here and we'll check out the crystal super crystal red tank. I've got babies in this tank as well. Um, a few different sets, as you can see right here. These ones are a month or so old, I would say. And then there's some smaller ones that uh, are a lot newer. And there's at least one buried female in here as well. A lot of the adults right now seem to be kind of hiding. There's another smaller juvenile, I guess, in the back there. Well, camera's not going to focus. But these guys are doing, doing just fine. Um, I didn't start with a whole ton of these. Maybe less than 20. 20 or... I don't even remember. 20 probably, yeah. And uh, when they're all out, I've still got... Oh, I see a dead one, though. That's not good. I've still got between 10 and 15 that have gone to adult size or close to it. And then, like I said, there has been some babies, so... 
That's a good thing. The mixed Taiwan B tank is thriving. You can see they're just going nuts over some food right down there. Don't have anything to complain about in this tank. Well, the PRLs are doing good as well. You can see them eating right there. I haven't seen a ton of babies in this tank recently, so I'm not sure if much has been going on in that uh, in the breeding side of things. Next door is the crystal red slash white slash golden bee tank. We've had some breeding going on in there. Um, ooh, there's a nice buried female, I believe. That's a, yeah, that's a golden bee, so that's nice. I'm gonna separate these all out here at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Next door here is the Pinto slash Thai bee, black Pinto, I should say, slash Thai bee tank. There is a berry Thai bee right there. There is a berry black pinto somewhere in here. I can't seem to find it right now. Maybe the camera's catching it though. Actually, is there two berry Thai bees? Yes, there are. That's fun. Here comes the one of the two aura blues that's in the tank. There's another nice black pinto back on the sponge filter there. Um, some babies were spotted in here, uh, where I think I just saw one. So hard when you're trying to film and look in the tank through the camera and then not through the camera at the same time, if that makes sense. There. There's a baby. Can't really seem to find any more right now. Maybe the camera's picking them up though. And then the old standby basic crystal reds doing well as always. I've always got these available for sale. If anyone's looking for them, just email me. My email address will be below. Um, other things that I can spare right now are cherries and possibly some PRLs. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything in any of my colonies that uh, I'm ready to, to move at this point. All right, we're upstairs now, and I just wanted to show you my blue ball tank. There's a molt there, and uh, we've got babies in this tank now, so that's good. The glass has got a lot of algae on it, but the babies love that, as you can see. Well, they're on the glass. There's some over here. There's one. But yeah, um, so that's that's promising. Um, I mean, I've bred blue bolts before, but this was a separate colony that I uh, got from my buddy Carl. And to me, they're a really nice, um, a really nice uh, strain of blue bolts, and they just pretty much produce blue bolts only. And so I was wanting to start from scratch with this with this group. And uh, so now that they're breeding, that's great and I'm happy about that too so anyway um, I still have a bunch of cherries in this tank too even though I removed a bunch um, I'm, I've got an idea for this tank and I, it may involve keeping some cherries in there still but anyway and then finally down below here sorry about that is a uh, wine red tank. There's just two or three of them in here right now. You can see one right there by the shrimp pellet. Um, I'm gonna move more into this tank and start to grow this colony as well. Not much else to say about that. All right, so that's really it for this video. I wanna thank everybody that watches these on a regular basis. Thanks for your comments. Uh, thanks to you that subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe so that you can see my regular updates on my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and my saltwater um, tanks as well. Um, 
I try to keep regular updates going on all those things, uh, and uh, it's really fun to be part of the community. So anyway, uh, with that, uh, I'll let you go, and until next month, thanks.